Hi guys, hope you're doing well. Today I have a Sainsbury's food haul to share with you. Um, I look like this. <laughs> Basically a mixture of things. Uh, there is no makeup on this face. Mr. Ruben um, was up, I think, four, three, no, four times in the night and um, just I've got out of that habit <laughs> not gonna lie I've got to that point where I'm very used to the fact that Reuben sleeps through <laughs> so last night being up multiple times was not fun but you're okay now aren't you you're okay um also delivery slot was booked between 10 and 11 um and then I get a phone call at quarter to nine saying um do you mind if we come a bit early because we're in the area I'm like, yeah yeah that's not a problem nine o'clock is on my doorstep uh, <laughs> uh, i'd literally just got everybody dressed and by everybody i mean me and reuben <laughs> so it was like Arr. but yeah at least it's done now so it's like it's done for the day so apologies for the scary face and the bad hair but you've come to see reuben and uh, look at the groceries not me so it doesn't really matter but yes, Sainsbury's food haul. Uh, this stuff is like 83 quid. Uh, two substitutions, kept them both. Um, no freebies. There weren't any on the website. There weren't any on the website, little Reuben. Um, but there were competitions. So if you're into doing competitions of things, check out the discovery tab on the Sainsbury's website. It's always there um what else what else do we need to say oh dribble dribble uh delivery driver young chap really nice um dead friendly had his mask on had his gloves on stayed a good distance we like that what are you doing um yeah this little man is not his normal smiley self we had our first tooth come through last weekend and I think we might be getting another. Do you got toothy peg? Yeah, but yeah, um, no, no big stories this week. Just let's see if I can record a food haul. Um, I'm going to put the baby holder on because uh, that seemed to work well last week. But yeah, let's record a food haul. You ready for a food haul? Let's go. And there is my overview for you. It's not as neat as normal, <laughs> um, but yeah, we'll get there. Right, starting over here. I have got two bottles of Diet Pepsi. I also grabbed um, a bottle of ooh, Cola Zero, the Sainsbury's own brand. Um, one of you guys recommended it in the comments, said it was really good, tastes just like Coke Zero, so we're going to give it a try. Oh, excuse you, Mr. Reuben. Burpees, uh, tins, we've got some peach slices, some mushy peas, um, I've got a Lloyd Grossman tomato and red wine. We had this last week as a substitution, I'd ordered a some, I think I ordered a garlic and basil and they substituted it for the tomato and red wine and we loved it so I've actually bought this one this week it's the same price as the one that we were going to get so it doesn't really matter and then we've got some applesauce and then there is some baked beans um, porridge for John he likes these little pots there are three golden syrup and three sweet cinnamon Fig rolls, they are the first substitution. Um, I ordered the Sainsbury's own brand ones, so they've substituted it for McVitie's, not a problem. Then we have some go ahead fruit and oat bakes in apple and a uh, fry light in butter. Um, I don't normally get the butter one, but I'm gonna do or try. Um, baked pancakes and apparently this is a better one to do it with so yeah we've got that uh we've got some mange too 
a new texture, a new vegetable for Reuben to try. He's getting on really well with most things. Oh, bananas. Uh, diced butternut squash and sweet potato. They say it's for mashing or roasting. This stuff makes amazing soup. Um, and then there's a reduced fat Madison sausage in there. Not a whole lot for Reuben um, in this shopping because he has been eating mostly like home cooked stuff rather than packet stuff. He's like, his favourite thing at the moment is broccoli, so that's what he's getting. Um, but yeah, we got him some strawberry yogurt. And this one, this is the organic um, pear and apple. Uh, he's kind of like, he has like porridge or baby rice most mornings. Um, and a little bit of that in it um, seems to make him happy. So yeah. Then more Monge 2 and baby corn. Um, oh, actually, <laughs> I thought I'd cancelled that out of my delivery because I picked that. Obviously, didn't do that. Oh, well, it'd be fine. Um, and then some mini egg chocolate bar because I'm basic. Um, and then we got two bunches of daffodils. Some mini apples. There's a lot more fruit um, in this week's shopping. I've been, like, craving fruit salad. So, yeah, some mini apples, some grapes. These looked nice. I haven't had, haven't had these before, but poppy and sesame seed thins. I just thought they looked good. Um, more Reuben stuff. Uh, just some sweet potato and another sweet potato. His, I don't know, sweet potato is a close tie between sweet potato and broccoli for Reuben's favourite vegetable. But yeah, there for him. And we've got some mushrooms. <sighs> Hmm, if you saw my last what's in my fridge, yeah, this stuff is so good. Betty Crocker, chocolate fudge flavoured icing. Never going to be on a cake or a cupcake, very unlikely. Going to be eaten with a spoon. Shh. <laughs> Some Reese's Pieces mini eggs. I think I've already said mushrooms. Uh, potatoes. Another yoghurt. This is peach and apricot. Ruben, I think, actually prefers this to the strawberry, but we try and give him different flavours all the time because obviously it's still developing what he likes and what he doesn't like. Um, oh, I got some almond flavouring. I am going to do like a cherry bakewell baked oat at some point this week. And I thought, yeah, you need almonds for that. And I couldn't get flaked almonds on the website. Then we have some, oh, we have a mess. We have blueberries and a pack of bacon. I can't remember what I've bordered bacon for, but we have. I've got two Lindor Lin eggs, a bag of spinach, some custard creams, some strawberries. There's a cheeky custard donut packet back there. More porridge for John. Um, seriously tasty lighter squares. This is quite, the bigger he gets when he moves, this is quite difficult. <laughs> um, some cheese strings, some pears, another packet of potatoes. So these are like new potatoes. And they're like jacket potatoes. These were on offer. These were half price, so I'll give these a go. We've had the golden syrup ones before. These are the Quaker Oats porridge to go squares. So yeah, it's like blue, they're like a flapjack basically. They are good. Well, the golden syrup ones are. I've not had these before, but we're going to give them a go. Blueberry and apple. We've got some pan of chocolate. We've got some gnocchi. Ruben has had gnocchi twice. He really likes it. We've got some chilli rice crackers. With spicy Thai chilli. Yeah. I used to get a graze box like years ago and these were one of my favourite things out of the graze box. So when I saw these, I'm like, I have to try them. And then we got some hot cross buns back here. It's practically Easter. Um, <laughs> little cake. Taste the difference, Victoria sponge with raspberry and jam buttercream. Just, yeah, a little bit different. Like last week we had some giant chocolate cake, which was really nice. Do like to have cake on a Sunday. 
<laughs> with a cup of tea. Um, this is not as exciting as, as that, but it's just kind of what I fancied this week. Um, more tin stuff. I've got some tinned pears. I, I have bought fresh pears, but I've got some tinned pears and some tinned pineapple back there. Um, basically, I'm doing a lot of baked oats at the moment, and uh, I like fruit in my baked oats. What can I say? So we've got some crispy potato slices there. These are yummy, but they don't tend to have them in stock online that often. And then we have some red cabbage, some white sliced bread, another packet of bananas. We are going through quite a lot of bananas at the moment. I say John eats on average two a day. He normally takes two to work with him. Um, Reuben probably has half a banana every other day. And I like bananas as well. So we are going through a lot of them at the moment. And then we have some kiwis and then a big block of cheese. Uh, then we have some pork lunch meat for the pups, some cooked chicken breast. This was my other substitution. Um, it's some beef mince, the 5% fat. Um, basically, it's just a bigger, <clears throat> bigger packet than what I ordered, so it's absolutely fine. It's exactly the same product, but I ordered the smallest packet size. Then we have some chicken Kievs and some chicken thighs, pork loin steaks which are one of John's favourites. And then this, we're going to have this, I think, on Sunday. It's Mother's Day on Sunday. Um, the Scottish salmon, spinach and cheddar en croute. Just yum. And then a few frozen bits. Frozen cherries for all the baked oats. Uh, um, some scampi and two boxes of the Snickers ice creams because they're still on offer. And yeah, that... It's this week's shopping. And that is this week's groceries. There's Mr. Ruben. You like watching? Oh, Bubba. So yeah, meal plan is rather straightforward this week. My hair looks atrocious, um, but it's quite self-explanatory. There'll be pasta, there'll be gnocchi, there'll be scampi at some point, but yes. Um, I don't really have a lot of chat this week. I hope you're all okay. I hope you're staying safe and well. And yeah, I will talk to you. Say we will talk to you in the next one. Bye guys.